to all of my hawk friends on the committee who think I'm too much of a dove, this amendment is an authorization to use military force given to President Biden to take out the Chinese assets in Cuba. Part of China's leveraged buyout of Russia has been them taking control of Russian property and Russian assets in Cuba and then vastly improving those. So like, whereas we didn't really care too much about the Russians having 1960s technology 90 miles south of Florida, we are increasingly concerned and should be a lot more concerned that China right now is functionally turning Cuba into a stationary aircraft carrier right off the coast of Florida. And so I do not offer this authorization to use military force as, an, as, as uh, in any way an effort to spark or provoke war. I loathe war. I stand against war. I try to wind them down when we can. But in this case, I believe giving the president the authority to take out these Chinese assets in Cuba might be the very thing necessary to prevent war, to deter the Chinese from putting this in. And it is amazing to me how much we have allowed the Monroe Doctrine to just atro atrophy right out from underneath us. It, we would never have allowed these types of encroachments by China into Latin America, into the Bahamas, the Caribbean, Cuba, if we really cared about the Monroe Doctrine. So while the Foreign Affairs Committee has unfortunately asserted equities here, and I won't, I'll have to withdraw the amendment, I do think we need to have a very serious conversation about what these China bu Chinese buildups in Cuba mean, and we cannot view them through the same lens that we viewed uh, Russia's participation uh, in, in Cuba's military enterprise.